Hey guys, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we are going to be testing the overnight blowout curlers. They're supposed to give you the look of an overnight blowout. To be technically correct, I did go back and watch the woman that created the curlers and she specifically calls out that they aren't meant to give you a blowout from nothing. You're supposed to have given yourself the look of a blowout or have had a blowout and then these help you retain that look for, you know, five to seven days or however long until you you wash your hair again. Let's see how we feel about it. So this is my hair just like rough, rough blow dry. Now I'm gonna add a little texture spray into my roots. And I just really wanna see what it will do straight up on my natural hair just blow dried. And then like, I will also test it starting with the blowout version. I am going to use my blow dry brush by Heritage that I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna kind of smooth the front pieces and give it just a bend at the end. Can you see just how that gave a little bend right there? I'm gonna do just the same thing underneath. Can you see this? This is just like totally straight up air dried, blow dried, like you can still see I have some natural curl in my hair. This is me literally spending two minutes running my blow dry wand over the top of it, just enough to kind of smooth it and give it a little bend. After spending literally five minutes using the blow dry brush, you can see what I have. Way better than the fuzzy mess we started with because I have some natural curl that just kind of goes Whoo! when I blow dry. But I really expect that when I wear the curlers all day or overnight, then I'm gonna get like a lot more volume on top and a lot more curl on my ends. Here I have the overnight curls kit. I obviously got the brown, I got three rollers, and then the scarf velvet does have the hook and the kind of the eye at the end. In her video, I watched her directions. She said she just kind of takes the crown section like this, and she brushes and rolls all of that forward. We're gonna take a roller, and we are going to roll it up on the ends. And I do have layers, so I may have to do a little scoop up here. She said pull it down and then kind of scoop it up and clip it. Like that. It was easy to do. It actually looks pretty smooth. So, so far so good, I feel like. Now we're gonna do the second and the third. I am gonna use three because my hair is pretty thick. And on the second, she just kind of takes a scoop. I'm gonna take half here and back. Now, just for me, I'm gonna take some little gator clips and just clip this back because I feel like my hair is getting intertwangled. That keeps that out of the way a little bit for me. I'm gonna take this part, flip it upside down, kind of brush it all forward, smooth it a little bit, kind of smooth those edges forward. Now the part I think I'm getting stuck on is this patching on the edges of the front roller. I almost feel like I should put these in opposite order and it would be easier just because it's the way she does it, the way we're gonna do it. So, and take the reward rolly. Okay. And if you have any endies, kind of go like this and push it down and clip it. I'm getting the hang of it, but it definitely took me a second for it not to be pulling and to like be laying flat. Once you get the hang of it, I think you'd be golden. But yeah, it definitely has a smidge of a learning curve. And the trick is like, as you're brushing this forward, not getting your any hair snagged on that clip from the one in front of it. What I'm figuring out is you kind of have to do it blind because if you pull it down to where you can see it, then you're gonna get your edges caught. Pull it forward, but see how I'm pulling it just kind of straight out. I really can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just doing it by feel because if I can see what I'm doing, it's or way too far forward and then my edges are gonna catch. And also keeping all the hair really close to the center while you're rolling it because the farther out on these edges it gets, the more it pulls on your hair and you don't want it pulling. You can see? And then you just kind of do the downward pull and twist thing like you have with the others. Clip it. Whew, that was a little bit of a learning curve and a little bit of workout. And I'm just gonna spray some and kind of, I have layers in the back, so some of my back pieces are a little loose. Okay, so let me show you like finished look. The day is this. 
Can you see the back? Now I'm going to take a scarf, so you fold it in a triangle. And then she said you lean forward and kind of flip this up and over. And it's okay if this middle piece comes forward. This up, and then she said bobby pin to just kind of get those sides set. Kind of like Rosie the Riveter, Riveter vibes here. We can just kind of tie this down like this. Gives us our nice little bow in the front. We can tuck these in, also this side. And then uh, you can bobby pin the back just to help hold it in place. Just coming into a little bit better lighting. This is what it looks like. I could totally see where how you could wear this to the gym or out and about if you wanted to. It's pretty cute. I actually think people would be like, oh, you look cute. We're gonna test it during the day today because that's the way my schedule worked out, but I will sleep in them before I give my final review. It's time to take the hair out. It, I put this in, at, I don't know what, like eight, nine o'clock this morning and it's now 5 p.m. and I'm going to dinner tonight. So I'm hoping it is going to turn out magical. It didn't bother my head at all. Like my head feels great. I actually jumped on a work Zoom call, LOL, with my hair like this and everyone was like, but you look so cute. So there you go. Even with my hair in curlers. Okay, so we're just gonna unclip and unroll. It's no problem coming off these, by the way. No hair is sticking. It's not hurting. I'm not having to tug or pull. Okay. And then in her video, she kind of does this like, Throw your hair back a moment and then just give it a little brush to kind of soften, I think. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, look at it. it. Looks pretty good. Okay, so here is the final look, you guys. Let me see if I can see. Curls, curls. I do think I will try to work on wrapping the bottom one just a little tighter. There's definitely a learning curve to using them, especially for me, curl two and three. But now that I've done it once, I feel very confident that I could do it again and do it much faster and easier. And I think thereafter it would just get in a rhythm. Remember, like I didn't do a full blowout. You know what I mean? Like I did, I used my volumizing brush to just barely curl my ends and it still turned out like this. It is a few days later than the last time I tested the rollers and today I actually got my hair colored so no more gray. Yay! But more importantly, I had her basically give me a blowout today so I could start with a fresh blowout to test the rollers. Now remember last time I just kind of straightened my hair or ran my volumizing brush through it for five seconds. This time I actually have a blowout and I guess what I'm testing here is is does it really matter whether you had a blowout? Like how little work can you possibly do and still have these rollers make your hair look good? Because she blow dried it today so thoroughly, it is a little flatter on top than I sometimes prefer if I'm doing a blowout. So I'm kind of actually excited to see if these rollers give me more volume after I sleep in them tonight. Okay, I have it set again for the night, but I actually think I might go get one of Paisley's bonnets and sleep with it so it even covers this front curl. So I'm gonna go find one of those. I'm actually gonna sleep like this. I just feel like it's a little more secure for me. See you in the morning. Okay, it's the next morning. I will say uh, sleeping on these wasn't my favorite, um, especially this back one. It made it really hard to like get a comfortable spot on my head. I actually feel like the second tip I would give you is just don't wrap them too tight. Mine aren't super tight, but they're still a little tight. And so they're pulling on my hair a little. Let's take them out and see what they look like. Not gonna lie, it's gonna be good to have these out of my hair. Like it wasn't, if a level 10 was like, I'm so irritated I could scream, they weren't that bad. They were like a five. Look at how good the curls look already. Here's the thing though, guys, look at this. I mean, that really does look like I could 100% walk out my front door. So today I'm in Utah and we are going to the ITK event. I wanted my hair done. So I slept in my curlers, brought them from Texas with me. And just so you know, before I rolled them up last night, I put in a little um, texture spray. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's the end of the day. Wanted to show you my hair. After running around, going up and down the canyon, still looks good. Overall, I would definitely say that you can use the rollers to get three to four days, depending on how far you can go to in between washes and recurl your hair. Honestly, it does a better job of curling than I, than I thought it would. So overall, really impressed. 
Final recap, I thought the product was a thumbs up. I loved the feel of it, the colors I thought were great. It worked the way I said it would. My only caveat, my only caveat is just that there's a little bit of a learning curve to that second and third curl setting them properly, but once you get that figured out, I think that they would be exactly what they are claiming to be, which is helping you retain your blowout. If you have not, for some reason, subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and do that now. If you have something else you would like me to test, be sure to leave a comment so I can see it, and hopefully I'll get it tested for you. Bye, y'all.